Hello, welcome to Blender TC. In today's tutorial, we'll be actually making this hole in this cylinder. Um, this I was I was talking with a chap, uh, Naraz. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name, but basically, he was getting some distortion when he was trying to actually create a hole in a cylinder. So, hopefully, this helps him. Uh, welcome to Blender TC. If you like my tutorials, please subscribe. Let's begin. Today we're making an hole in a cylinder. For this uh, tutorial, we'll be using uh, loop tools again. This is found in preferences uh, under. under add-ons and you just type in to here loop and mesh loop tools and you just switch it on and I switch that on so we'll be using loop tools once again we'll delete the uh, the cube so X to delete and delete um, what we're going to do is actually do a cylinder and put an hole in it so Let's uh, fetch a cylinder up. We've got a cylinder there. We're going to switch on madcaps. This shows the actual distortion if there is any. So go into that one, then select that one, then into madcap, and then hit that. And we're going to use this red because that really shows it up well. Um, smooth shade, shade smooth. As you can see, we've got a cylinder there with quite good topology right. what I'm doing there is I'm hitting the tab key to go in and out of edit mode so into edit mode um, I'm going to control R and I'm going to put a loop near the top one near the bottom and then do it again just for good measure and same at the bottom and just to make the topology really clean select the top face and then E to extrude S to scale once E to extrude S to scale twice this makes a really clean edge so E to extrude S to scale first time E to extrude S to scale second time and as you can see we've now got quite a clean cylinder that's what we're going to do is control R and then press sorry control Z I'm just going to undo this a minute control R select a phase control R helps you press the right keys control R split it into two you can do this with your mouse wheel if you haven't got a mouse wheel then control Z you can do it quite easily by selecting the face control R and then hit the two key and then press the right click to actually fix it what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a circle so this is the standard uh, cylinder so select three faces X and then delete or X and then delete faces by selecting faces and we end up with a square hole the next thing we're going to do is add a modifier and the modifier we're going to add is a <coughs> subdivision surface and subdivide this by 2 and then apply as you can see we've now got a hole what we're going to do is actually select the edge of this hole press the alt and left click it selects it all scale down 
So you've got a small hole in the centre like that. Maybe a bit bigger. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually right click and use the loop tool that we've already set up. Put circle. And we've now got a very neat circle. With very little distortion around the hole. We've got a little bit of distortion, but that's because it's too small. So scale it back up until the distortion starts to disappear. Scale it up. You can see the distortion. Scale it back. Oh, sorry. Control Z. Into edit mode and scale it back down until you see very little distortion. Then what we do is go back into edit mode, E to extrude, S to scale, and do this twice. Now we've got the hole with very little distortion. The next thing we're going to do is add another modifier and we're going to make this one the solidify and take this to whatever thickness suits you. I'll take that up to 0 0.08 and apply again. Sorry, apply again. And if you want to neaten the hole up a bit more, then subdivide this twice. Control R, GG to move it in itself. GG to move it in itself. And there you have it, a cylinder with a hole in it, with very little distortion. Hope this helps. Quick tutorial, just showing how to make a hole in the, in the centre. And if you want to make this to a specific uh, size, the easiest way to do it is to add an object that is the specific size, so, and then shrink the hole around the actual object then you've got the actual specific size you wish hope this helps you not too simple but quite a clean hole the distortion is minimal thanks for joining me on blender tc please subscribe